Hey folks, Joe here with Attractions, giving you a look into some of the fun adventures we've been having lately. This week, we visited the Knott's Poisonberry Festival, the annual food-inspired event that celebrates the park's historic roots by highlighting the little berry that started it all, the Poisonberry. We were lucky enough to have the opportunity to indulge in their tantalizing lineup of dishes, ranging from savory foods with a boysenberry twist to one-of-a-kind specialty desserts and drinks that you can only find at Knott's Berry Farm during this time of year. If you visit this year's festival, we recommend purchasing a tasting card. Each tasting card gets you six different tastes of boysenberry cuisine, and it's a great way to stretch your dollar even farther. Our first sample of the day were the sweet corn nuggets with the boysenberry honey drizzle. These were delicious and the perfect mix of savory and sweet. We also tried the boysenberry waffle with whipped cream and boysenberry maple syrup, which was tasty, but in our opinion, a little too sweet to eat all by yourself. Now a farm just wouldn't be a farm without cute animals to see, and at Old McDonald's barn in Ghost Town, we were able to get up close and personal with horses, goats, and pigs. Our next samples came in the form of the Cajun Shrimp Po' Boy with boysenberry remoulade and the boysenberry sausage with boysenberry mustard. The Po' Boy was tasty, but it ultimately left me wanting a little bit more of that boysenberry sweetness mixed up. The sausage by itself was good, mixing the light spice of the sausage with a hint of boysenberry sweetness, but the mustard honestly just tasted like regular mustard to us. The boysenberry mango lemonade was obviously delicious, but we all agreed that the boysenberry really overpowered the mango. Now, one of the big hits of the day for us was the alcoholic boysenberry muzz slide. The creamy, velvety texture of Kahlua and Irish cream really paired well with the boysenberry syrup, leaving us feeling like we just drank a boozy boysenberry shake. Now, if Ghost Town is the heart and soul of this year's boysenberry festival, the Wilderness Dance Hall, located near the Mystery Lodge, is definitely its nerve center. Here, we were able to sample my personal favorite dish of the festival, the chicken wings with the boysenberry sweet chili glaze. These almost have an Asian zing flavor profile to them, giving you that perfect balance of sweet and heat. We also tried the salmon, orzo, and cucumber salad with boysenberry dressing, as well as the sushi burrito with boysenberry sweet chili dipping sauce, but neither of them really wowed us. The boysenberry bread pudding was also one of the stars of the day, giving off warm, gooey texture. It was the perfect treat for these chilly, rainy days we've been having in Southern California lately. One of the hidden gems of this year's festival is Boysenberry Lane, a small midway area that has popped up past Ghost Rider. If you've ever been to Scary Farm, you know this section of the park pretty well. Here you'll find special Boysenberry themed games, as well as some extra seating and food stands. On the day we visited, it felt like a lot of people didn't know that this area was here, so it was relatively easy to grab a table and get away from the crowds. There's even a fun photo op for the legendary Boysenberry Mine. Who knows what characters might show up looking to strike purple gold. Here we tasted what was built up by the Knott's culinary staff at the media preview to be the item that they were most excited about for this year's festival, the Boysenberry Barbecue Meatball Pizza. We thought it was good, if not really heavy in our bellies. I wouldn't eat a slice of this and then jump right on hang time if you get my drift. We also tried the Caprese garlic bread with boysenberry balsamic glaze, which was really tasty, if not a little light on the glaze. In my opinion, you can never have too much balsamic, especially if it's boysenberry balsamic. Over in Camp Snoopy, the Peanuts gang has gotten into the boysenberry festival spirit by replacing the birds in the Woodstock's birdbath game with this cute floating Woodstock on a boysenberry pie. Even cooler, you can buy one to take home with you to bring the boysenberry festival fun to bath time. In addition to the numerous food and drink offering, the Knott's Boysenberry Festival also offers a wide selection of local crafters, live music, musical stage show, and fun activities for guests of all ages. This year's Boysenberry Festival started on March 10th and operates daily through April 16th. 
If you decide to head out to enjoy this year's Boysenberry Festival, drop us a line on our social media accounts or in the comments below this video and let us know what your favorite dish of the event was. Thanks for coming along with us, and don't forget to have fun!